and, and uh, we all wish him well with that. But a bloke who would like to take you on is Nader Hamden, and uh, after fighting successfully on Friday night on Fox Sports, he did issue you this challenge. You know, I've, always, I've liked to grind that, but um, I respect the guy, but also he's been um, shooting his mouth. He wants to be the best. Um, I'm the best in the country. Um, let him pick the division. Let him pick the place. Let him pick the time. I'll fight him and his next opponent together on the same night. Everyone wants to fight him, right? There's uh, plenty of money to be made out there. You've just got to keep beating them. How do you feel about Nader Handen? I mean, I know Nader. And I know, you know, Team Fennig, I know the Kelly boys. They're all great guys, you know, and, you know, they, 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 they want to do um, Hang on. the best the best for what they want to do. There's Nader there. And, uh, you can see him on camera. Here he is. Hello, oh, Anthony, mate. Um, you and your guys have um, been doing a bit of talking. I'm just here to give you a chance to prove to Australia and prove to everyone that you are what you say you are. I'm the best. So, um, yeah. if you want to do it, let's do it. Pick the position, pick the place, pick the time, and let's do it. Oh, well, I like to say... All I can say is, you know, I respect uh, Nader and Jeff and what, what they can, uh, are doing for, for their guys. And obviously, Nader's uh, been pretty successful, you know, in his boxing. But isn't the truth, though, that you're not ready for a Nader Hamden in your career? I mean, you know, I'm focused on what I want to do, Anthony Mundine. And, you know, my goal is to become world champion. And whether it's, you know, climbing the ladder and, and fighting who I've got to fight, Anthony, I'll I'm do on it. top of that ladder. You know? I'm on top of the ladder in Australia. No, that so like, you know, hey, I respect you, I totally respect you too, but um, it's just a fight game. It's not about race, colour, religion. No, I know that, brother. Fight game, brother. But in the end, bro, you know, we're, we're, we're both from Australia. You're my Muslim brother. And I want us to ride together. I don't want to, I to brother, fight. But, um, what a, I, I see you. You're on, the, um, you're on the show the other day saying that you could, that um, I would fall. So I'm here to say, put it, put, put it to you. You know, let's do it. Let's pick a time and a division and a place. No. Hey, it's a fight. Anthony. <laughs> yeah. It's a fight. It's a fight all Australia would love to see. It's a fight all Australia would love to see. Let's do it. Let's see I know, what I know, I know that people would want to see it and people, you know, would come pay to see it. But you know, you, you got a dream, you got a dream, I got a dream, you know. I've got a dream. Now Jeff, and Jeff Fennick is there too, he made his trainer. Jeff. Thank you. What about what about all this racist stuff, Jeff? Are you just trying to talk up yeah, a fight, let, or do you mean that? Let me clear the whole thing. I, I admire this guy that's sitting up there. Great, great athlete. One of the best this country's ever produced. Um, great football. And listen, they, let's not get things uh, mixed up. For a guy who had his first pro fight the other night, it was a sensational performance. You have said that he'll never get to a world title, though. What I say is, he said in, his, his prediction was in three fights. What, what Anthony uh, understand is, when he says that he's really going to become Australian champion and world champion, these guys sit back and think, well, you know, what are we, what are we um, dummies sitting on the wall? Anthony, before you're Australian champion, first you've got to beat Nate Ham. You say you don't want to fight Muslims or you don't want to fight Aboriginals, that's fine. Mate, I've got Ian McLeod that's here also. He's the Australian middleweight champion. Wait, 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 wait. Neither, yeah. neither, neither, neither Muslim, yeah. neither Muslim nor Aboriginal. You've got to get through these Nader. guys before you yeah. can meet them. Nader, how, how do you now. feel about uh, having earned your stripes and Anthony Mundine comes in, takes a big purse and a lot of reputation immediately? I congratulate Anthony. Um, I don't begrudge him for earning what he's earning. Um, I fought the best in Australia to get where I am. I fought everybody. I haven't 19 fights. I fought the toughest and best there is in Australia. But um, here Anthony is saying he's the best. Um, I'm giving him a chance to prove it. I'm the nah, best in Australia. I'm giving him the chance. the chance. I will be the best. No, you're saying you are the best. I will be the best. Well, I'm giving you when? I will be. I'm giving you a chance to do it now. Like, when are you ready? Well, I'm Anthony. here for it. <laughs> <That's getting on. laughs> Anthony, how far away are we seeing the sort of showdown that five fans obviously want to see? If you're not ready for Nader now, when will it be? I'm just, you know, focused on what I have to do. Just clock, clock my way. But, um... You know, when I get my dream, when I'm going for my dream and I want to want to go for, whoever stands in my way is going to go, you know, going well, to go down. Nader, how, how good is this Nick Turner fire that we're going to see him fight? Um, oh, well, Anthony, let's sign something that I'll fight you, Nick Turner fire, and Gerard Zeiss on the same night. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it now. Let's sign up next uh, September 4th. But, you know, 
I'll go to Open Gym and tell them to come down to Spa. I'll be happy. Fine, fine. I'll help you, man. And right. you help me, so I'm cool with that. Just another thing, um, one of the taxi drivers that I fought from Thailand, oh, yeah, yeah one of those taxi drivers, um, <laughs> at least he was capable of driving a cab. The last guy Are you, you fought, <laughs> you're the guy, last guy you fought wouldn't be capable of driving around the block. Are you serious? All right. <laughs> uh, you know what? You know what? You know what, Jeff? Hey, Jeff. You know why? They, they had to leave Gerard Josh to the stadium and let him know where he was. You know what? Was. After I hit him, he didn't know where he was. So he couldn't drive. They had to leave him there. Know where he was? Yeah. Oh, he That's Mate, you don't know where you are. That's you don't know where you are. That's well, I'll tell you what, boys. Right, we do have a ring up here. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's a little bit stronger than the, than the last one we saw at the entertainment centre. It's built of wood. Uh, I don't think we could get it sanctioned, but uh, I'll tell you what, we'll move heaven and earth to, ha to make it happen if you guys can get it on any time soon. Today, I'm the most exciting fighter in Australia, the most exciting talker in Australia. What a great fight. All right. All right, well, let's, let's hope... Uh, let's hope that one day we'll see it. And uh, Jeff Fennick... Uh, one other thing before we go, Nate has also said to me, if Anthony can beat him, we'll donate all of Nate's purse to any charity that they choose. The Aboriginal group would, would love the money that he could earn, we'll donate it to any Aboriginal cause you tell us. I've already got my charities going, my well, course I mean, Nader going. wants to help them. Yeah, well, well, oh, well, you know, Nate is a brother, and that's all I've got to say. I mean, he's he a Muslim is, brother. Where's Ian? Is he in a brother? Is he in a brother? If Ian, if Ian wants to get whipped, they'll get whipped later on, you know what I mean? All right. <laughs> I'm not Muslim, <laughs> even though I'm sure it's a good religion. I am Australian, but I'm not an original Australian. So, why not me? Well, mate, you know... I haven't got a record we like, like, like Nader, so... We might, look, we might look at you down the line, you know? Well, you know how long you mean? step up? Let's go we now. We might look at you down the line, you know what I'm saying? Right. Let me just size you up for a second. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Looks like a good match. What do you reckon? <laughs> Because I've been in the school longer than you. I'm on with you now, man. Yeah, now? Now? Not now. We'll get it on. But don't worry, you're gonna get whipped. Get the pen out. Yo, yo, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. I'm the guy. I'm the guy you gotta get on with. I'm the best in Australia. Yeah, you, you may be uh, the best in Let's Australia. And I've, I've, I love you what you've done, brother. You're my brother. No and problem. You know, yeah. Listen, like I said, nothing about religion, race, religion, I respect you. It's about boxing and being the best in boxing. It's all about boxing, you well, know what I mean? mean? It's all about raising the sport. Right. Ian's just going to change his pants and come back, mate, Ian. <laughs> All right, Anthony. Jeffrey Fennick, uh, you learnt your craft uh, on the streets of Marrickville and took it to a world title. And uh, don't know where you've learnt your promotional stuff, but you're doing a pretty good job. Uh, that I've is learned a, from that Anthony. Is, I learned how, from Anthony. How, how is that for an ambush? That is just straight out of the textbook. <laughs> nah, my family here for... Uh, Having some corn, I looked up on the thing and I seen Anthony here. Now, the boys, we always go out regularly together and we spend time together and we're all just here. And I looked up and we spotted the man here, so we thought we'd uh, have a talk come to you. Come and interrupt. <laughs> all right, well, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, you've taken more time off uh, and more space off uh, this man than uh, anyone has in a long time. So, Jeff Fennick and, the, and the, your camp, we wish you very well. Very well handled in that situation, Anthony. And of course, your fight uh, is coming up against Nick Tamafai at the Horden Pavilion on Monday, September 4. Is it going to be something like the show we saw at the Entertainment Centre? Well, you know, I just want to give the fans what they paid for and I want to, you know, give them a good show. But at the same time, you know, do what I have to do. Uh, you just go out there, win, and make sure I win well. All right, mate. Well, the boxing point is coming up. Uh, plenty of things happening in the world of boxing on Fox Sports. Shannon Taylor and Love More to Do, two good crowd pullers themselves. They'll be at the Wollongong Entertainment Centre on Friday, August 25. That's starting at 7.30 uh, in the evening, of course, Eastern Standard Time on Fox Sports 2. Anthony Mundine, um, a pleasure to have you on. It's uh, Alan Border made this comment to me when he came out. He said that... Uh, for all the, the stuff that they read about you, you handle yourself very well one-on-one -on -one, and uh, I think that's a credit to yourself. I just hope you've done the right thing by turning your back on some very good promotional expertise. Oh, well, you know, I'm just, I just want to focus on one goal and I, I've made it obvious what it is and that's the World Championship. 
And, you know, like Jeff said, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty good self-promoter. So, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, mate. We'll keep smiling. Keep swinging. Anthony Mundy.